Hey, thanks for joining me, guys. Thanks, both of you. Um, so, Gandhi, I heard you were trying to expose the music industry. I got to say, man, I feel like that's a really bad idea. I don't feel like that's a good idea at all. Yo, yo, funny funny you should say that because I just realized that, um, you know, some people hit me up once I said I was going to expose people and name people in the industry. Um, they said that's not a good idea because people are going to come after me. Um, and so I realized, like, uh, I'm not going to name names in the industry because that puts my career r at risk. Um, uh, I'm not I'm not brave enough to attack people in power. So sure. I'm going to talk bad about about rappers and uh, uh, people in the media and uh, people on Instagram. Uh, it's much easier for me to talk bad about them because they don't have the same kind of power, you know. Uh, I, as a rapper, my job isn't really to to uh you know teach people or inform them especially not in hip-hop we don't do that uh, my job is to like promote negativity and and make people feel bad so that you know they buy more stuff you know if you're not promoting negativity and getting young white kids to try drugs for the first time then your your album's gonna flop yeah it's uh, no it's not gonna sell no one's gonna want to listen to that shit and then that's, that's gonna be taking money out of your black ceo's pockets well, so my, my black CEO, he actually told me I could say whatever I want, but I told him, listen, like, uh, uh, I'm not going to do that because why would I, why would I get in, um, get canceled and have to deal with all these problems? Like I already got a bunch of threatening emails because I said I was going to name names. Um, like, I don't want something to happen to me just because I talked about, uh, Elliot Grange, who's the head of 4k entertainment who received a $2 million, um, a donation from the Department of Defense to fund Six Nines music video and has come up. And then after that happened, he signed Ice Spice, who had a, a organic rise to fame. Um, we're not going to talk about Elliot Grange and how he does things like that. Um, you know, uh, in accordance with uh, the different media companies. And then we're not going to talk about um, about his dad, uh, Lucian Grange, uh, who's the head of Universal Universal Music Group, which is the number one company a uh, music music label in the country and we can't talk about how his name is uh anag anagram of lucifer we're not gonna say that either because we can't I, i'm uh, gonna stop you i'm gonna stop you right there you shouldn't be talking about any of that shit yeah None yeah ne never again i wouldn't even I, I, i'm not, I almost, bra I'm not brave enough i'm not brave enough to talk about people like that okay um because i'm just a dumb rapper who's mentally weak um I'm, so i'm gonna talk bad about other rappers but you're right. I'm not going to talk about Elliot Grange of 4K Entertainment or Lucy and Grange of Universal Music Group and, and the things that they do. And I'm not going to talk about how they take out million dollar life insurance policies on drill rappers and then collect them when they die. Yeah, I'm not, I can't really do that. No, I don't I don't think you should do I don't think you should do any of that shit. I, I, how do you how do you feel about that? Chibu, or... Don't do it. Don't do, don't it. do it. He said, "Don't do it." I mean, that's that's your guy right there. That's your main guy. He said, "Don't I mean, do it." If you do that, then how are talentless people that leech off the culture going to make more money? Exactly. Like, like, come on, you 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 got to keep this shit going. You got to keep the keep the maggots fed. You're disrupting the economy. Is is really is really what's happening? You're disrupting the economy for everybody. Yeah, and we can't disrupt the economy because money is like the number one thing. Um, I can't talk bad about music executives because uh, they control the, the money. Um, so if I start fucking with people's money, then I make things really bad for them. Uh, but if I just if I don't do that and I just talk bad about other rappers and I talk bad about social media and I talk bad about uh, other people with no power, then they'll then I'm good as long as I'm not threatening the people with power and their money. And if you play those people's games, then they'll they'll you'll get some of their money. They'll give you some of their yeah. money to just they yeah, already have some. the blueprint. And, and it's and it's free money. It's not even like it comes with attachments or strings, anything like that. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 free money. An advance, an advance is just free money. I mean, you're right because I'm thinking about the rappers I look up to, uh, who have a lot of money because that's all that matters. Is uh, like for example, Drake. Uh, Drake is really impressive because he's never said one political thing or ever once advocated for uh, things to change even at all. He's never once said that um, the, the way that the system is disproportionately harms the people at the bottom and people with no money. Um, and the fact that he never talks about that 
that makes him one of my favorite rappers that I really look up to. Yo, he's he very similar that. to Obama. He's very similar to like an Obama rap. Oh, it's Drake and uh, Drake and Obama. I mean, they're they're the two. They're they're the blueprint, bro. They're at the top. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, one of the things, yeah, that was was based about Obama was, uh, he said, you know, oh, I'm not gonna put the black community ahead of all of the Americans, and that's what Drake is doing too. Exactly. So both yeah. of, both of those guys, I really look up to them because they put the dollar ahead of anything else. Why would yeah. you advocate for somebody who's not in a position to advocate for you? Also. You know what I mean? What what power do they? I, I advocate for people who are on the bottom. What what do I get in return? You know what I mean? Yeah, yo, you guys are really um, you guys are really making me feel better about how I chose not to name anybody in the music industry because I'm a rapper, which means I'm mad pussy and scared of people with real power. Uh, since I'm a pussy rapper, I'm gonna just go after other people, uh, other rappers. Um, most likely, I'll just other women because I'm a pussy rapper before I ever talk bad about anyone in power, especially in the music industry. And could we bring it back? Just run it back. Who are who are we not going to name? Let's let's just get some of the names out that we do, that we don't want to name that we don't want to talk about just so we know. Yeah. So, you know, we're not going to talk about we're not going to talk about Lucy and Grange, who uh, got government money to fund six nine music career. And then later on went on to sign Ice Spice. We're not gonna talk about his dad, Lucy and Grange, who's the head of Universal Music Group. Uh, we're not gonna talk about local New York underground rappers either. Uh, Cause uh, they are, um, they basically have the same handlers. Um, that's why you see rappers from New York get uh, two to three months of fame and nobody listens to their music. And then they get a HBO Max show the next week or they get a cooking show on Vice. Uh, or they give them some other TV show or media that has nothing to do with music uh, because clearly they were just implanted uh, by one of their handlers. But, you know, we can't talk about that, even though it's very obvious. Um, as rappers, you know, our goal is to be pussy and scared and never, never talk about what's really going on, you know? I think, yeah, we should we should just keep it as, as ignorant as possible um, because that's what's popping. And yeah. I think maybe you should... You should apologize for even saying you're gonna name names, even though you yeah. didn't name any names. I think maybe you should be like, "I'm sorry, guys. I, I was, that was, I was, I was off my meds." You should probably say you're off your meds. Yo, that's a really yo. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no I problem. Wanna, yo, me, Big Baby Gandhi. I want to sincerely apologize for saying that I was gonna name any music industry executives in power who uh, control the platforms of propaganda. Uh, because as a as a pussy rapper, my goal isn't to do that. Um, I'm here to spread negativity and and tell people that engaging in self destructive behavior is authentic. Um, I, it's my bad for implying that I'm supposed to be anything more than that, and it's also my fault for saying that anyone in the music industry is exploited, because that's not what's happening. Um, because uh, it's just uh, that's not what's know, happening. <laughs> As as a black CEO, I can tell you that's not what's happening at all. Um, yeah. You know, aren't getting exploited. You know, they just they just signed a deal, and um, it's like it's not as if the deal is is hard to read or understand or is you know put in a bunch of legalese language or anything. They they signed the deal, and uh, you know the deal uh, is the deal, and, and they signed it. So um, that's that's what it is. It's it's fair. It's fair. Uh, and that's what happens in in a market, you know. If you're an ignorant rapper, you shouldn't be reading your deals because that's inauthentic. You should just stay ignorant. Look at the money. Look at how much money you're gonna get. Ignore all the like in perpetuity nonsense on there because you're an ignorant rapper. So you should just be like, all right, give me that, give me that check, and that's more authentic that way. So yeah, it's not, yeah. not being exploited. Oh, they're just being real. Yeah, and and just make sure you get a photo op when you sign the deal. That's the most important yeah. part. Not reading it. Yeah, I, I remember that they told me that I should also try to do a dance. They told me that if I'm going to go to a label meeting, if I want to impress them, I should get on top, top of the table and start dancing, start doing like my little Harlem shake. Um, I got a couple moves that I can do. And the better I dance for them, even though I'm just a rapper, the better I dance and uh, kind of jive for them, the more likely I'll get a contract. So that's really what I should do. Yeah. And it's, I, worked I for, it's worked for it's worked for so many rappers. I mean, like I said, there's just a clear, 
blueprint for you to follow, and we should just be on that because that's that's how we get to the money. So yeah, on the table, oh, yeah. dancing, uh, throwing your hat in the air and shit. That's that's yeah. what they like. That's what they want to see from you. They don't want to see you read it. They don't want to <laughs> see you pouring over the contract. Yeah, and yeah. you want and you want to dance so you get that advance as high as possible, right? Because you don't believe in yourself. So you want that money up front because you don't you don't care about what happens to your catalog and your intellectual property after like that, that doesn't matter to you. You need the money now. So so make sure yeah. you get that advance as high as you can and dance for those white executives. Um, hey, we can't say that those executives are any one group of people. Um, oh, so no. we can't say that. But uh, no, they're going to cancel me. No, no, I mean, you know, we don't want the people no. in power to come after us, so. Yeah, they're, as a, they're as just, a, as a, no, a, you're right, you're right. There are definitely black executives that you can dance for as well. Yeah. Yeah, there's executives of all races that would love to see you dancing and, and jiving on the table. Yeah. And it's just true. There's, there's, I can name 50 races of executives that would love nothing more than for you to just dance for them and and swing your chains around yeah on the table yeah so my, my chains my chains are fake uh but um i like to lie on records so that people think i'm cooler than i really am and uh, i want to perpet- perpetrate falsehoods because that's um that's what you're supposed to do as a pussy rapper like me so since i'm a pussy rapper i'm not going to say anything about the the music in uh executives that run propaganda uh, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to spread negative uh, images and t- uh, talk bad about uh, people in my own community. That's who I'm going to go at because I'm just a pussy rapper. When I turn on a rap song, personally, if I heard them say, my chains cost $60, I got them at a JCPenney, I'm turning that shit off because I want to hear that the chain costs more than my rent, more than double, more than triple even my rent because that's that's what makes me feel powerful. When I listen to someone lie and brag about how much money they have, that makes me feel like I have a lot of money. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And you want to, uh, you know, continue lying about having the money so then you can get the money. And when you get the money, you definitely want to spend it on depreciating assets like diamonds and cars. Definitely don't talk about investing in stocks. Don't talk about real estate. Don't talk about crypto. That shit is lame and for nerds. I don't want to get yeah. into that again. Yeah, no, uh, my job is to be a pussy rapper, so I'm never going to tell people to invest in alternative uh, currencies while we have record inflation, which means the value of the dollar is going down. So it would, it would only be uh, the smart thing to do to invest in other things such as land, uh, crypto, stocks and bonds. Uh, I'm never going to talk about that because I'm a pussy rapper. So I'm going to tell people to spend their money frivolously on things they don't need so they could prove they're a real man or real, uh, real, uh, you know, just valid in general. Cause to me, cause I'm from the hood, right? So it's, uh, to me, you're more valid if you have money. Uh, but if you have like morals or beliefs that you really believe in, that doesn't make you valid. So I, I really agree with what you said, Joe. Yeah. If you're worried about inflation and, and the value of the dollar and shit like that, when you're in those label meetings, just be like, yo, did you account for inflation in this contract? And they're going to be like, yeah, of course, you know, so you're, yeah. you don't have to worry about that shit because the execs, they already took care of it for you. So, yeah. And I'm not reading the contract, bro, because I'm, I'm real. I'm a real dude. So I'm real and I'm hard. So that's why I'm not reading the contract because to the idea that you could get exploited in the music industry. Who's heard of that? You know, that's not a real thing. So you're not a reader. You're a rapper. You're not a professional. Yeah, reader. yeah. You're not out here reading every day. You're, you're rapping. You're really rapping. So. Yeah, my goal is to be like a rapper um, that a lot of people think is cool. So I'll say crazy shit about other people. I'll talk bad about people for likes and uh, and attention. But, you know, I'll, I'm never going to read a book, though. Reading a book, that's like not what being a rapper is about. You might get too smart to be an ignorant rapper. I've seen it happen to rappers before. They think, oh, it's no big deal if I read one book. It's no big deal if I read another book. And then all of a sudden, they can't they can't be authentically ignorant anymore and then their shit's not popping the little white kids that listen to it they're like this doesn't make me want to pop a molly at all this makes me want to go to school yeah you definitely don't want to mature and and grow up and and become a more developed human being either you want to um have be emotionally and mentally stunted 
so uh -huh. um, the children can continue looking up to destructive behaviors. If, if there's a rapper that's talking about reading and learning and how to make money, to me, that's that's a corny rapper. So to me, he's canceled, right? Um, so, but if a rapper just, you know, talks about, uh, you know, killing other people, disrespecting women, um, doing a lot of drugs uh, and, and ignoring uh, your responsibilities, to me, that's the dope rapper. That shit's so, hard. Know, that, yeah. Yeah, that shit's hard. Yeah, make sure if you are talking about making money, it's only illegal ways to do it. Um, right, right. Even that, it might be a little, a little bit too constructive for, for the for the children. If you make money legally, then you're paying taxes on it, and that's lame, and that's not cool, yeah. and people shouldn't be looking up to that type of shit. So what what you do is you make your money illegally, and then you don't pay any taxes on it, and everybody's like, oh, that's really cool, that's smart. Yo, you you spit facts. I rather have, I rather have a, a, a I rather have a hundred dollars of illegal money than one million that I have to pay forty percent tax on, because that's how you go out like a loser. What's that? Forty percent of a million? What's that? Like fifty dollars? I'd rather have a hundred dollars, bro, because I'm a real I'm a real rapper, bro. Church. I'd rather have a hundred dollars. I don't gotta give it to no one. That's called that's called street economics, and that's how we think in the street too. Street smarts, that's important. Knowing, yeah, how, street to, smart, knowing yeah. how to steal money from other people, take money from other people that already that, that they went out and got it legally. They already paid yeah. the taxes on it. And you take it from them, and then that's like double money because it, it's already they already paid taxes on it. So you're getting yeah. like like more money, really, if you think about it. Well, so there's street smarts and book smarts, right? And uh I'm I'm never gonna be book smart. Uh, even though the someone who has street smarts and book smarts might be unstoppable, my goal isn't to be unstoppable. My goal is to never read a book. Uh, I don't even want to touch a book. When I touch a book, I feel like, oh, what am I doing? Am I a pussy? Am I pussy because I just touched a book? So if I, if I ever get my hands on a book, I like throw it across the room. Um, and it's more important to me to have street smarts, you know, than to have book smarts. Yeah, don't read books. Um, definitely don't read articles. Um, try not to even read the headlines of the article. But if you do read the headline, uh, definitely don't open the article and read the whole uh -huh. thing, because um, that you know might um, poison your mind with with facts and and different viewpoints. Um, and you know it might just get yeah. I, it might get in the way of your bars and your in your writing process. What is a book, right? It's paper. So if you're going to be touching paper then why wouldn't you be touching money? And what's an article? That's a book that's online. So now you're, not only are you touching paper that's not even money, you're touching fake paper when you could be touching real money. Yeah. So how is somebody who doesn't have real paper telling me I need to read a book? I'm not the one that needs to read a book. You, you're the one that needs to, to read a book. You know what I mean? I'll read a book if it's printed on money. Why, are you, why is it printed on yeah. paper and not printed on money? If money's paper, why isn't your book printed on money? It's printed on paper because you're broke. That's why you're reading and writing books all day. Yeah. Yeah, these, these nerds out here reading books and they never touch real paper. That's, that's just touch. facts. I feel sorry for them, bro. Yeah, you want you want to cut? I feel like this, this is actually good. Yeah, it was good. This, uh, I'm just stopping so they're shorter videos, right? Uh, so we can upload them quicker, but...